Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Emmerdale star Karen Blick, unrecognizable in early cameo before becoming Lydia Dingle. Emmerdale enthusiasts were left in disbelief after discovering that Karen Blick, who plays Lydia Dingle, had previously made an appearance on the soap looking entirely different. Karen rose to prominence portraying Lydia on the ITV soap, making her first appearance in 2016. As Sam Dingle's James Hooten, wife, Lydia has become a fan favorite. The much-loved cleaner has also been at the center of numerous dramatic storylines during her time in the village, including a recent terrifying rape incident. In terms of romantic entanglements, Lydia had brief affairs with Paddy Kirk, Dominic Brunt, and Rishi Sharma, Basker Paddle, but she eventually found her place as a member of the Dingle family. Before her role as Lydia on Emmerdale, Karen featured in shows like No Angels and Nomads. Interestingly, in 2006, she made a one-off appearance in an episode of Emmerdale, playing a completely different character. Karen portrayed an anonymous nurse at the abortion clinic visited by Viv Hope, Dina Payne, sporting blonde hair instead of her iconic red locks and fringe, reports The Mirror. Fans recently unearthed Karen's initial Emmerdale stint and posted a picture of her from the soap on an Emmerdale Facebook fan page, leaving viewers astounded by the revelation. Fans were left stunned when one viewer pointed out on social media, here's one I didn't know, Karen Blick, Lydia, playing the nurse that Viv Hope saw at the abortion clinic in 2006. Another fan was equally surprised, commenting, had no idea. Before her big break on Emmerdale, Karen Blick confessed she nearly gave up on acting and even trained as a teacher. Karen had previously disclosed her moments of doubt, saying, There were many times I considered giving it up. I even trained as a teacher and did a PGCE in 2008. Moreover, the beloved soap actress has expressed an openness to potentially moving to London or even the USA, admitting, Part of me would love to, if the opportunities arose and the timing was right. Never say never.